Uh, anyway, this week, Minister set out plans for the return of the crown stamp on the pint glasses and pledged to review a ban on marking and selling products in imperial units. The move comes as Brexit Minister Lord Frost set out plans to ditch Brussels rules and claimed glue mongers have been proved wrong following the UK's departure from the European Union. The government intends to review the content of retained EU law, which was preserved in UK law for continuity after the transition period ended in December 2020. Gosh, lots of words there for me. Uh, Lord Frost's comments came despite, despite ongoing uncertainty over Northern Ireland's trading arrangements and shortages in shops across the UK, which critics say Brexit has exasperated. Regular viewers will know that every week we celebrate the best of British, and that can be an individual, a company, a product or produce from across the UK. So, with the review on Imperial Units underway, we're, we're delighted to be joined by Warwick Cairns from the British Weights and Measures Association. Hey, Warwick, hi. How are you? Are you well? <laughs> we are good. We're good. You know, we were just talking about um, introducing these measures again and, and how it will affect... I think it's ages get affected differently because I, I, I work in both. Um, my children have gone back into the, uh, have taken the European legislation and run with it. Um, and yet it was banned kind of to use imperial measures, uh, wasn't it, before to have them out on show. <laughs> Uh, with nothing else, with nothing and you else. obviously had to have the uh, metric ones uh, bigger or more, yeah, yeah. It, it, more profile. But what does this mean to us as a country, to us as individuals, just to be able to do what we want? And I'm, I'm somebody who believes in free choice. Yeah. So why shouldn't you use a pound of pears if you want to, rather than a kilogram? Well, exactly. You almost answered your own question there. What it means to us as a country. And as individuals, we're being treated like grown-ups, you know, uh, for almost a whole, over 100 years, from about the, from the late Victorian age right up to 2000, people were allowed to use whatever measures they wanted to. And it was perfectly legal to sell your apples or your bananas in kilograms or in pounds. And most people preferred to go with pounds, but you weren't compelled to do so. Um, in 2000, you may be aware there was a, the metric martyrs case, that a, a guy called Stephen Thoburn, who was taken to court, went all the way to the high court. Because a plain clothes trading standards office, there is such a thing, bizarrely. Plain clothes trading standards officers went into shops, said, have a pound of bananas, please. They sold them that said, You're nicked, son, or words to that, that, that effect. And he was taken to court. He was, he was prosecuted. He was found guilty uh, uh, of breaking the law. And it's madness. You know, it's madness. So, what this means, to get back to your point, is that it gives us that freedom again. It treats us like grown ups in that shopkeepers, individuals, have, well, shopkeepers have a choice to sell in whichever units they prefer. Uh, shoppers have the, the, the choice to ask their shopkeepers for goods in whichever measures they prefer. It's just, it's just common sense and it's completely sensible. What I thought was funny, people were still used to uh, pounds, weren't they? So they'd know they'd want however many pounds of potatoes, how many, mm. many pounds of apples. And when they said, put it into kilograms, nobody had the foggiest. So they'd say, oh, well, just four apples then, yeah. or yeah. just like 10 uh, potatoes. But um, I think it is an age thing as well. There's definitely people who will say, I am six foot, whether they are or not, 5'10", saying no names. But yes. what matters is people <laughs> like to do the feet and inches. People yeah. like the pounds uh, 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 and uh, ounces. But is it any more than choice? Is this making us feel that we're independent? I mean, what getting to the bottom of it all, because I don't really mind what you... Uh, measure things in or weigh things in. Is that what it's about, just having control and being able to do what we want? It's totally. It's, it's all about being bossed around and told what to do. I mean, for example, you look at the pint glasses, you know, this whole thing about that. On one level, it's a very trivial thing. You still get a pint with a glass, whether it's got a European symbol or a crown on it. But what it was all about was saying, you cannot have your symbol on that glass. We're allowed you to have a pint of beer. You've got to take your crown off it. It's like, it's like a, a bit of cultural tinkering, a, a bit of, of pushing people in a certain direction. You've got to think like this, you've got to be like this. Mm. And what this symbol does, the liberalisation, it says you, you can, you, you're free again. Do what you like, you know, I as think, long as I think it was Coming out of Europe and getting rid of some of these nonsensical views, I mean, I wasn't a Remainer, I wasn't a, a Lever, I was a, I was a nothinger, I really didn't... <laughs> 
care. But things like this make me care because it's it's the common senseness of it yeah. and the pettiness of it. Yeah, that that's what I was going to say. Me. It is the pettiness of it, a form of domination mm. that was quite unnecessary. So obviously we're, we're waiting for this to go through. It hasn't happened yet. Could we be celebrating prematurely? I don't think so. But, you know, what do you think? Well, we should we should be celebrating, but I also know there was there was a champagne manufacturer. It's an interesting bit of uh, UK French cooperation. Uh, a British champagne uh, of a wine 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 merchant got in touch with a with a, a French champagne house, and a couple of years ago they laid down pint bottles of champagne just for an occasion like this. So so it's a, it's an entente cordial between Britain and France, both countries behaving as grown ups, uh, and possibly we'll be able to celebrate with a pint of champagne. Um, if, you, if your budget runs to it. It'd be just lovely, wouldn't it? And then if I get back on the scales now that we're doing, you yep. know, uh, stones and pounds, will I be able to get back on again and read what I used to be before, which was what? Well, it depends if you are what you used to be before. Yeah. That's the only <laughs> well, thing. Well, it's nice. Feeling the pound is a big deal. Yeah, I've got a pound done, but like, like point whatever of a kilogram, it's not, it's not the same, is it? It's really yeah, it's not the same. True. <laughs> yeah, I think it's well, like, you know, if, if you think your readers good, if you, if you can try, if you grab a, a, a handful of apples, weigh it, it's roughly a pound. Try and do the same with, with a kilogram. I've tried it myself. You, you can't get it in one hand, or even in two hands, it will go over the place. So a, a pound is, it makes sense. Warwick, thank you very much indeed. It is a time to celebrate, and I'll tell you one thing I'd sooner have a, bite, a pint of champagne than a champagne flute. Exactly.